the guy that canola. Mm-hmm. He's leaving the show after the centenary special. He says the last piece of music he's composed for it is uh, another like rendition of 13's theme. That's sweet. So that's uh, yeah, I think that's gonna be good. That's gonna be a sweet ending. Uh, we love that. I I think there's some great hits out there from Sagan that are underrated. I think there's some good, you know, big orchestral scores here and there. But I understand a lot of it is just like boom, boom, boom. Bit of synth, you know. Boom, boom, boom. It's actually a piece of music that really means something to me um, from Sagan, and I really, I really adore it. I'm gonna get it up now and play like 30 seconds of it. Yeah, I will say um, this um, while I get that up. <laughs> yep, go on. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> oh, fucking hell. There's me trying to be progressive with the cliff when I say that. Uh, have you found it now? Uh, not yet. Okay. Um, yeah, it would have been so hard to take over from such a amazing man like Murray Gold. I actually do. I joke. I joke because I love. I actually do think Sagan is good. Um, I think it's quite refreshing. It was refreshing. It would have been so hard to take over from someone like Murray who's so loved, but it's so great that he's coming back. Mm-hmm. Definitely. <laughs> you agree to I'm it? Still, he's like, he's going back. This. I don't know why I can't find this. this Mari is coming back, and that's why Sigan is leaving. We wish him well. Yes, well, that's the theory, isn't it? That Mari's back. It's going to be sad to see Sigan walk out the door. No, I don't be. think... I'm not going to be sad, because I think it's very much a big part of Chibnall's era. Well, it feels fitting. I'm, it does. Yeah. And I'm... So, mm. I'm, I'm like, glad he's leaving. I think his score, for the type of show that Chibnall made, I think kind of fits that. So I'm, why are you pulling that face? Do nah, you disagree? I just, no, no, I think it's funny how like, what if Sagan walked up to a meeting to ch- with uh, Russell and was like, you know, I'm staying, right? Yeah. And he's like, oh, who he's are like, you? Ross, why haven't you told me about the plans? <laughs> yeah. I'm staying, right? And he's like, oh, Sagan, oh, we were meant to send you an email. And Murray's <laughs> like, oh, the way, oh, Sagan, hi. No, oh, we love man. Sagan. I actually think he's a nice guy, despite he left me on red. Did he um, open it? No, nah, he didn't. Not to my recollection. While you're playing that, I'll check. Okay. This is a piece of score called It's Not Just You. And I believe it's from the end of... Um, what's that one? Is it Can You Hear Me? The the episode 7 of series 12. Uh, which is the one that's all like a big allegory for mental health. And things right. Like that and how mental health can't be contained. And this piece of score that really helps me sleep a lot this time. At, sorry, at night. And I just think it's quite... Um, I know, it's got this this real sort of movingness to it. And I'll, I'll sort of skip ahead in it a bit because it's quite long. But. Bye is good. Just one note. <laughs> Just waiting for the next note. There we go. And I just think it's really a really moving piece of score. But you know what? thing is though like you'd think this was good if Mari wasn't around yeah yeah you're totally right it's just Mari was so known for these massive orchestral yeah things that, exactly yeah it's a but like if a, he would have tried that people would have hated it too yeah because they're like, why, they're like why exactly right yeah. you can't please anybody I, I do hope Mari's back for the 60th and then we get a new composer for 14 is my no no kind of doesn't like that that's not the theory oh. I mean, <laughs> so whilst it's playing I'll be like I'll play I'll I'll Say the message I sent to Sagan. Who never opened it? Hello, Sagan. Huge fans of you here. I feel like this. Uh, I feel like this score <laughs> is like uh, it's fitting for your for your message that you didn't get a reply. We know you're really busy at the moment, but do you mind making a quick 15 second video for us to celebrate 100 episodes of our podcast? If not a video, a little message would be amazing, and it would make our year. Thanks so much for all the hard and amazing work. Yours sincerely, the 50 percent Dr. Who podcast. <laughs> well, um, thanks, Sagan, for not sending that through. And he didn't say anything. Here's the door. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. That's why he was fired. Uh, busy man. Busy man. Russell's like, he didn't reply to my favorite <laughs> Russell's been Dr. Who podcast. Russell's been trying to message podcast. him, but he didn't reply to <laughs>